Welcome to the Social Regressive. I'm out here this morning shooting the six egg rimfire challenge. It puts two eggs at three different distances and each will be shot from different positions. So I'll be standing for the 25 yard, kneeling for kneeling or sitting for 50 yards, and then going prone for 100 yards. I'll talk about hardware and other stuff as soon as I get done shooting this. I'm kind of anxious to see how this goes. Six shots, that's all I get. And time starts when I close the bolt. All right, let's go down range and check it out. 25 yards is pretty clear. Yeah, those are definitely hits. What a mess. And this is a bigger mess than it should be. I actually took a crack at this a little bit earlier and uh, I had a, a turret cap come loose when I started shooting at 100, so I had to back up and do this all over again. At 50 yards, looks like I had one escape danger. And it looks like I put that bullet exactly where I did on that last run. Pretty much the exact same spot. I must have just jerked the trigger on that one a little bit. This one, definitely a hit. 100 yards, these are both hits. And for this, I was assuming about a three mile an hour wind. There's hardly anything even palpable out here. But uh, I just held left edge on these eggs and it looks like I hit them pretty solidly. The hardware I'm playing with today is a Savage B22 FVSR. I've been testing this in a variety of videos so far, different scenarios to see how it performs. I've had this in a uh, silhouette match. I have just done some basic accuracy testing. And so we're getting into some fun stuff now. I'm gonna do a little hunting with this, hopefully a little later today. Uh, but this, it seems to be a very accurate piece of equipment. The, uh, the rifle itself seems to be really precise. Uh, out on the end, this muzzle device, this is a YHM uh, phantom flash suppressor. So I can put a can on the end of this thing if I want to quiet things down a little bit further. Uh, the ammunition that I'm shooting today is actually pretty quiet. This is Federal Gold Metal Target ammo. This is round nose 40 grain and it is just kind of right at that uh, subsonic range. It's a, I think it moves out at about 1080 feet per second. Uh, it's been performing really well for me at a variety of distances. Uh, you can see that I was able to hit those 100 yard eggs uh, pretty easily with this thing. On top we have a Weaver Grand Slam multi-stop scope and this is a really weird thing. Uh, this has a, a nice big 50 millimeter objective. It collects a lot of light. It has a, just a really neat eye box on this end. Easy eye relief. It uh, magnifies from 5 power all the way up to 20. And then you get this just wacky uh, elevation turret at the top that you're able to insert your own drops using these little uh, colored markers. And then it, all you have to do is just put a little chart out on the end of the, uh, 
the objective lens cap here and you kind of indicate what color is what and then you have quick drops if you are looking at a target that's about 50 yards out for you know in my case i just scroll over to red and then it's it's dialed in it's ready to shoot uh, this thing is really cool i'll be doing a full review on this and some of the other stuff that i have on here this is a very simple blackhawk sling i like just a you know a simple uh uh, kind of nylon loop here. This has a little bit of uh, rubber padding on the inside to help it grip to the shoulder a little better because I have had rifles uh, slide off the shoulder before. I actually damaged one of my scopes that way. But uh, yeah, very simple and it, you can see that it worked really well. I have this set up uh, not so much for carriage but for, you know, really tightening things in and it does work just fine if I want to go throw it over the shoulder. Aside from that, really the rifle is bone stock. Uh, I've done nothing to it. it. It doesn't, you know, it has the original plastic stock, which I've mentioned before is actually pretty darn comfortable. Uh, it fits a, a, an adult hand pretty well. And this grip, which goes pretty vertical, uh, the trigger finger just falls really naturally on it. And I'll be talking about that when I release the, uh, the silhouette video. The stock back here, the comb, it looks pretty high, but it's actually kind of low. I'm getting more of a chin weld than a cheek weld. And I have mentioned that the uh, the butt stock here is a bit short. I'm hoping that they release some spacers at some point to kind of push this out. But uh, really, I think, you know, for a lot of uses, it's, it's gonna be totally functional for hunting and stuff. But if you wanna get really precise, uh, you know, for the most part, I would say you wanna swap out a stock anyway. But yeah, for now, this is gonna work great. And yeah, when I take this thing out in the bush to go hunt some squirrels, I think it's gonna perform just fine. It has a 10 round magazine. I just pop six rounds in there. Bolt runs pretty smooth. And that's just kind of uh, a quick overview of what I had here for that shoot. I'm really sorry that I missed that 50 yard egg. Uh, I wish I could go back and get that one again, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy overall. The uh, the standing shots were actually pretty easy to take, and the prone ones, all I did was just hold left edge of that egg, and then boom, they were gone. Stay tuned. There are going to be a bunch of other people that are trying out this challenge, and I want you to do it too. I want you to get out your iPhone, whatever you have, record yourself doing this, and for the folks that actually managed to hit six eggs, uh, we're going to look at how much time it took for you to do that, and we'll determine a winner from there. But really, you know, no matter if this is 2020 and people are still shooting this, uh, yeah, I hope that we continue to see people releasing these videos. And when you do, let me know. Put, put your uh, link to your video down in the comments or something, and uh, I'll be sure to repost it, get it in a playlist so everybody can see it. This whole competition is a collaboration between MRAD Outdoors, Vaughn Precision, and myself. And uh, I think that we picked a winner. This is really fun, and I want to try it again with a different rifle, or maybe just come back and try this again. It's been really fun. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.